So hello and welcome to this uh, Adobe Anime tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how you can generate a snow using JavaScript and uh, yeah right now you can see what we are going to be doing. Uh, so uh, maybe you can see we are going to have a little issue that we are going to have this uh, jump uh, every few moments. Uh, we can make this that this is going to happen uh, less often but it would be like uh, difficult to create this without it. It is possible but uh, this tutorial is going to be too long uh, so I didn't want to go to that. Uh, I may create a tutorial, separate tutorial where I am going to show you uh, how you could uh, avoid this. Uh, avoid that. Uh, but yeah, uh, we are going to have the snow, you can create whatever color, you can create whatever size, uh, you can create whatever uh, speed and uh, yeah. I am also going to give you my final Adobe Animate file uh, in case that you are going to have some kind of issues uh, so you can use my code. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is what we are going to be doing and right now we can start. So right now I am in the Adobe Animate and I am going to choose my width and height and I will go with 800 by 800. You can choose anything but if you want to follow along you can choose the same as I have. I want this to be HTML5 canvas and I am going to choose the frame rate to be 24 and I am just going to click uh, create. Uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create my snow so I will go to the rectangle tool, I will go to the oval tool I will go to the properties and I am going to choose some kind of uh, color, later on we can change this, so I am going to click on this and I am going to choose maybe for now uh, something like uh, this and I am going to create this like uh, so. Uh, now uh, I can zoom in with the uh, control or command and uh, mouse wheel and if I'm going to click on this I can see uh, my width, my height, my X and my Y of, uh, of this uh, shape. So I am going to put this maybe uh, to be 25 uh, by 25. So uh, if you are not going to have this uh, locked you need to uh, type this uh, twice or if you are going to have this uh, locked you can just uh, type this uh, once. So I, would, I can go with 30 and then I can put it to 25. Uh, the size we can uh, later on change uh, but uh, yeah, uh, for now I am going to go with uh, something like this. Uh, now I am going to uh, select it and I am going to convert this to the symbol. So I will go with F8 or I can go modify convert to symbol and I can call this to be snow for example. And uh, yeah, uh, the registration point I can put to the center uh, and I am going to click OK. Uh, the registration point basically means that uh, if you are going to uh, put this uh, from the library, uh, the 0 and 0 uh, is going to be in here. And if I put the registration point to the corner, 0 and 0 is going to be in uh, here. But this snow is uh, so small that it uh, really doesn't matter right now. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to select this and I am going to delete it from our stage because we are going to get this directly from the library. So I will go to the library and I can see that there is my snow and there is the linkage uh, linkage. Uh, so if you do not see it, you can extend this like so and I am going to give this a linkage name. So I can call this also snow or whatever, but uh, this name has nothing to do with uh, this name. It doesn't need to be the same, but I am going to put it the same. Uh, now I will go to my layer one and I can double click and I can rename this uh, to be code and uh, I am going to right click and I'm going to choose actions or you can go with F9 and uh, yeah. Uh, I am going to have a text editor like uh, so, you probably know, if this is your first tutorial about JavaScript in Adobe Animate, this is probably going to be difficult for you, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and I can uh, zoom in and zoom out with the uh, control or command and mouse wheel and we can start. So I am going to declare a variable, so I am going to type let uh, my uh, snow. I can also go with uh, snow like so, but uh, yeah, I do not want to. So I I'm going to type uh, let my snow is going to be equal to uh, new uh, lib which stands for the library and uh, snow that's the name that we have created and the uh, parentheses and yeah you need to write it like so new uh, then uh, space uh, lib uh, dot snow the name that we have put it as a linkage and uh, parentheses and right now what I can do is I can type uh, stage dot uh, add the 
child and we are going to add a child uh, my uh, snow so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste this in here like so and i will go with control enter control enter command enter and you can see maybe you can see uh, that we are going to have our snow in here uh, I just want to show you that if I would like to uh, create the variable name same as uh, this name that we have as the linkage. So if I'm going to call this snow and I'm going to add child uh, to be snow, this is going to be working fine. But I would like to differentiate this little bit. So I'm going to put this as my snow and my snow. Uh, now what I could do is uh, I can go ahead and uh, put my snow uh, x uh, to be equal to uh, 400 for example that's uh, half of our stage because we are uh, 800 by 800 let me make sure <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah and uh, I am going to do the same thing for the y position so my snow dot y is going to be equal to 400 you do not want to write in here pixels or something just 400 and I'm going to go with control enter and right now we are going to have this in the center uh, one thing that I will do is uh, I will click anywhere and I will click to the stage and I'm going to change the background uh, to be something which is not white basically that we can see where is our uh, canvas okay fine uh, now what we want to do is uh, we would like to uh, duplicate this uh, snow multiple times uh, I am going to get rid of this uh, my snow X and my snow Y I just wanted to show you uh, that you can position this like so and I'm going to create the function and uh, the function is going to be add the snow uh, this name uh, you can create whatever name I will go with add snow and I'm going to create the parentheses uh, curvy parentheses and uh, yeah uh, now in the add snow function we are going to create a for loop so I'm going to type for uh, for let uh, i is going to be equal to zero uh, while i is going to be smaller than 100 and i plus plus in this tutorial i am not going to go about details uh, uh, how the for loops work but basically we are going to start at uh, zero and we will go up to 99 because 100 is not going to be included because we have this uh, as a uh, is uh, like so if we do not have this uh, to be uh, smaller or equal and i plus plus means uh, i plus one so this is basically going to make uh, this uh, 100 uh, times and uh, yeah and what I'm going to do in the for loop, by the way, I can put in the description some tutorials that I have about the for loop in Adobe Animate because it would be too long to explain uh, to the details all of the things. Uh, but yeah, and now in the for loop, what I want to do is uh, I would like to, I'm going to cut uh, this code that I have in here. Let my snow is equal to new library snow and stage stage at child my snow. So I'm going to cut this and I'm going to paste this in here. And uh, yeah, uh, right now, basically what we are going to do is uh, we are going to 100 times uh, create a new library snow and we are going to 100 times uh, add it uh, to our stage. Now what I want to do is uh, I would like to create an uh, array and we are going to put uh, the snow to our array. So I'm going to type uh, let uh, snow... Uh, like array you can call this as you want and I'm going to make this equal to the empty array like so uh, now what I could uh, do is uh, just to show you I'm going to type uh, console.log and I'm going to console.log uh, snow array and we are going to console.log snow array dot and at the beginning it is going to be zero and I need to put the parentheses correctly like so so right now i can go with Control enter and i'm going to go with f12 and uh, i will go to my logs and i'm going to see that this is going to be zero i am right now in the firefox you may be in the google chrome but basically you can go with uh, f12 or you can go right click inspect and uh, uh, in the console you should be able to see your errors or your logs or uh, anything uh, now what I would like to do is uh, I would like to uh, push my snow to this new array. 
Uh, hopefully you know what the push does, if not I will try to explain you in the moment. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, copy the name of the array, so I'm going to type that uh, snow array dot uh, push and we are going to push uh, to the array uh, our snow, so I'm going to push uh, my snow to the array like, uh, like so. Uh, now what I want to do is uh, I would like to call this function and uh, after calling this function uh, I will I will try to explain this uh, push uh, for some of you that maybe don't know. So I am going to uh, add snow and after add snow I am going to one more time uh, console.log uh, snow uh, array.length like so. So I will go with control enter, command enter, I will go with F12, F12 and I can see that at the beginning I have uh, zero uh, and right now I have 100. Uh, what does this uh, push does is basically uh, imagine that right now I am going to change the this from snow array to the name later names later on I am going to I'm going to change this and when I'm going to type uh, names dot uh, push and we are going to push for example the name uh, Martin then uh, what's going to happen is that in the array we are going to have name uh, Martin and then if I go one more time names dot push and I'm going to push uh, Thomas for example then we are going to have uh, in the array uh, also uh, Thomas like uh, so and we could do this uh, many times and uh, yeah. So yeah, I am going to uh, get uh, rid of this and I am going to make this one more time an empty array and I'm going to put an uh, correct name to the array like, uh, like so. So yeah, so one more time we have an empty array. We are just consoling uh, the length of the array for ourselves uh, to see. Uh, later on I'm going to get rid of this. Then I am going to have the function at snow. I have a for loop which is going to repeat 100 times. Uh, we are uh, setting uh, my snow variable to be new instance of the of the snow that we have in the library we are adding this uh, to the stage stage at child my snow and then we are going to pushing uh, one by one uh, every every time that this is going to loop we are going to push uh, this my snow uh, to my snow array then we are calling the function and then uh, after calling the function we are going to uh, have this uh, 100 uh, times like uh, so Okay, uh, hopefully uh, this makes sense because right now we are going to continue. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one more function. So function and I'm going to type uh, position uh, snow like this and uh, yeah. So uh, in the position snow we are one more time going to create a for loop. So I'm going to type for uh, let uh, i is going to be equal to zero while i is going to be smaller than 100 and uh, i plus uh, plus. Now one thing is that in here I don't want to have uh, 100 anymore but I would like to type uh, snow array dot the length and I'm going to copy this uh, from here. We could go with 100, of course, that uh, would be fine because the, the snow array, the, the length right now is 100. But if later on I change my mind and I decided I would like to have 200 snows and I would have in here 100, that would be an issue. But right now, if I am going to put this to be 200, uh, my... Uh, my snow array length is going to be 200 so this is going to be automatically adjusted to 200 okay because we want to get all of the all of the snows and now what i can do is uh, i can type in here that uh, snow array uh, i and uh, arrays are uh, zero base you probably hopefully know so if i would have in here uh let me go one more time uh martin and let me go one more time uh, thomas like so uh snow array uh, number zero is going to be martin and uh, snow array number one is going to be thomas and so on and uh, yeah, I am <laughs> one more time going to get rid of this. Uh, so we are going to have a uh, snow array at the beginning uh, zero, uh, then the snow array one, then two and so on. So for now I can put that the uh, snow array i uh, dot, uh, dot y not dot x <laughs> it doesn't really matter I just want to show you so the x position and we can set this equal to i for example. So this means that 
the first snow is going to with the uh, with the index zero is going to have uh, the x position of uh, zero. The number one is going to have the x position number one, and so on. So right now, if I go with control enter, nothing is going to happen because I <laughs> have to uh, call this function. So I will go with control C and I will go in here control V and uh, I am going to uh, go with control enter and you can see that my snow is positioned uh, like this but they are going to be like uh, one pixels from each other because we are moving only one uh, so they are going to be like uh, this. Uh, one thing that I just want to mention is that the semicolons are optional in the JavaScript you do not need to use them but I prefer to use them. Now uh, I do not want to position this like so and what I could do is for example I can multiply the i uh, times uh, 20 and uh, what is this going to do don't worry this is like not mathematics basically uh, like this is very simple mathematics is if i is going to be at the beginning 0 0 times 20 is 0 okay we are going to position the first one at the 0 then i is going to be 1 uh, 1 times 20 is going to be 20 20, so the first one is going to be positioned on the 20, the x20. Uh, then i is going to be 2, uh, so 2 times 20 is going to be 43, 3 times uh, 20 is 60, 4 times 20 is going to be 80. Hopefully it makes sense, but right now if I go with control enter, command enter, I am going to position them like so, and they are going to continue in here, but we cannot see them because our canvas is ending in here. And by this way, we could multiply this by 50, and right now the space between them is going to be 50 and so on okay uh, i do not want to position this like so you may position this like so in some other projects uh, but in this one i would like to uh, create this as a random number so what i'm going to do is uh, i am going to create a variable which is going to be a random number so i'm going to type let uh, random uh, x uh, like so and it's going to be equal one more time I am not going to in details uh, explain the random numbers I can put a tutorial in the description uh, but I am going to type that uh, math uh, math dot uh, random like uh, random <laughs> like so and uh, I am going to uh, multiply this uh, by 800 uh, the thing is that uh, this uh, M, uh, it has to be capital, so you cannot write it like so. You can, but you are going to get an error. So math.random and basically uh, math.random if I am going to get rid of this uh, this 800 is going to get me a number between 0 and uh, 1 so it is going to give me something like 0 point uh, blah 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 something uh, I can show you just uh, so we are on the same page so I will go console.log and we are going to console.log random uh, x like so and uh, yeah so I will go like this and I will go with control enter F12 and in here we are going to have all of the the 100 times random numbers so 0 0.6 something 0 0.8 something and so on and now we are going to multiply this uh, uh, by 800 so I'm going to type multiplied uh, by 800 and basically if we are going to have the random number which is going to be 0 0.000 blah 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 and I'm going to multiply this by 800 this is still going to be 0 point something and if I'm going to have a number which is going to be 0 0.999 something not 999 but 98 something and I'm going to multiply this by 800 this is going to be like uh, 799 point something. But yeah, basically, <laughs> uh, right now with uh, this, we are going to generate the random number between 0 and uh, 800, but number is never going to be 0, and it's never going to be 800, because uh, to have 800, you would have to have this exactly one. Never mind, uh, hopefully this makes sense. If not, you can go ahead and learn a little bit about the random numbers. But yeah, and uh, right now, if I go with control and and I will go with F12. Uh, we are going to have these uh, random numbers, so 216, 798, and uh, so on. And now what I'm going to do 
is uh, I am going to put my snow array i x to be equal uh, my random x. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this in here uh, like so. And uh, yeah, right now we are going to have them positioned randomly uh, like so. Uh, now uh, you may think uh, or maybe you may not uh, that the uh, once we have generated this uh, random number uh, we can put the same ra random number uh, to our uh, y position uh, that's uh, not true we can but that would be an issue uh, because uh, first of all I'm going to show you because uh, uh, it will be a <laughs> it is going to be better to be visual because uh, when we are going to have only one random number for, for x and y uh, when the x is going going to be 10 the y is going to be 10 when the x is going to be 20 y is going to be 20 when the x is going to be 400 y is going to be 400 so we are going to always get uh, this kind of line so what we need to actually do is we need to create uh, one random number which is going to be for x, uh, one different random number which is going to be for y. Uh, we want to have the same uh, properties of this math.random multiplied by 800 because we have the width and height uh, which is 800 by 800. If you are going to have this different, you are going to use different numbers, but uh, yeah. And right now I am going to change the, uh, the snow array i, y to be uh, random y like so. And right now we are going to uh, have this position uh, randomly like so and every time that I'm going to refresh this we are going to have this a uh, little bit a uh, little bit different like so okay fine now I'm going to create uh, one more function and after creating that function we are going to create a little bit of order in our code because I don't like to have this like so uh, but uh, yeah that's uh, I wouldn't like I would like to create one more function uh, to move the snow and then we can uh, adjust this little bit so I'm going to create the function the function I'm going to call to be move uh, snow I will go with parentheses I will I will go with uh, curvy parentheses Synthesis and uh, yeah, uh, one more time we are going to create the for loop. And by the way, we could possibly put this to one function, or we could uh, in the add snow function also position this. But I prefer to have this like separated. So I'm going to create a move snow function, and one more time we are going to go for let uh, i is going to be equal to zero while i is going to be let me actually copy this from here because we are going to do the same thing so i am going to put it like so so let i is equal to zero while i is going to be smaller than snow array don't uh, length i plus plus and uh, yeah and now what we want to do is uh, we are going to uh, put that uh, snow array uh, i and we are going to put this uh, on and we are going to put this on uh, tick uh, later on I will try to maybe explain this but uh, yeah uh, we can go with uh, on or we can go with uh, add the event uh, listener it is going to do the same thing but this add even listener there is like <laughs> uh, more possibility that you are going to misspell this so I am going to go with uh, snow array I, so we are going to put an uh, even listener uh, on uh, on all of them uh, so from 0 to 99 and we want to be this on uh, tick and uh, now in here uh, some of you which uh, who knows you can use uh, anonymous function so you can go with uh, just uh, function uh, parenthesis uh, curvy parenthesis and in here write the code or what I'm going to do is uh, in here I'm going to uh, just to simplify this little bit I'm going to call the function so I'm going to call move them for example because we already have move snow so I can I can go move snow inner but I'm going to just go uh, move them and in here I'm going to create the function so function uh, move them like uh, like so and that the uh, anonymous function that i was showing would do the same thing but uh, but yeah uh, so function move them uh, parenthesis uh, curvy parenthesis so right now we have a function in the function we have for loop and in the for loop we have even listener which is tick I have a tutorial about tick if you don't know I can uh, I can uh, put a link in the description but hopefully you know at least a little bit uh, 
tick is basically going to uh, check our stage uh, 24 times per second uh, every frame and it is going to move our, uh, our things accordingly. I will show you later on so don't worry and in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that snow array uh, i dot uh, y is going to be plus equal uh, 10 for example and i will go with control enter and uh, yeah uh, nothing is going to happen and the reason that nothing is going to happen is that we need to call this function so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste this like so control enter and right now uh, my snow is going to be moving so <laughs> uh, we have uh, this, uh, as I said, on a tick, and uh, uh, the the if I'm going to uh, put this uh, to be uh, one, uh, this means that every frame, uh, all of, uh, we have like uh, these two, all of them. So uh, from zero to ninety nine, in here we have the same i from zero to ninety nine. So we are moving all of them. And if I'm going to type uh, plus equal one, it means that uh, every uh, every frame it is going to move uh, one pixel. So it means that in uh, in uh, 24 uh, frames in one second, it would mo move like 24 pixels. So it's going to in uh, one second move from here to here, and in next second is going to move from here to here. But if I'm going to set this to, to be to be 10. Uh, then means that uh, it is going to move uh, 10 pixels every frame. So it is going to move uh, 24 frames. Uh, it's going to move 240 pixels uh, in, a, in a second. Or I don't know right now the mathematics. But yeah, hopefully this makes sense. If not, try to think about it. But yeah, uh, one more time, if I go with Control Enter, uh, this, is, uh, this is what we are going to have. Uh, there are a few things that do not few. There is more things that we need to do uh, because first of all, the snow is going to fall and it's going to disappear and no more snow anymore. Also, the snow is going to be falling at the same speed. Also, the snow has the same size. So there are things that we need to take care of. But yeah, before of that, uh, I am going to uh, create a little bit of order in here. First of all, I can get rid of this console.log. I do not need it. And uh, yeah, I am going to create the function at the beginning. So I'm going to type a function and I'm going to call this init. You can call this start. You can call this whatever. But I am going to call this init parenthesis, curvy parenthesis. And in the function init, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, cut this at snow, which I'm calling the function. And I'm going to put it in here. So initially, I want to add snow. Uh, then after at snow i want to position snow so i am going to cut this and i'm going to paste this in here like so so we are going to go with position snow and then i would like to go with uh, move snow so i'm going to cut this and i'm going to paste this in here like so and now we need to call this init function so i am going to uh, copy this and i'm going to paste this in here like so now, uh, what's going to happen is that the, at the beginning we have our empty array, then we have our function init, then we are calling the init, and in the init we have add snow, so we are going to call add snow. When add snow function is going to be finished, then we are going to call the position snow, so we are going to position snow, and uh, then we are going to call move snow, and uh, then we are going to move snow. Uh, right now, if I go with control enter, it is going to be working the same way, but one thing that I want to show you uh this can be maybe a little bit like useful or i don't know is that right now if i would uh, change the order of the function so i'm going to cut this at snow and i'm going to put this to the bottom like so i do not want to do this but i just want to show you this is still going to be working because in the init function we have the correct order of the function which we are calling so later on it doesn't really matter where these functions are positioned uh, in uh, in our code because uh, we are going to call add snow so it is going to call add snow and it is going to stretch okay this is not add snow okay this is not add snow okay this is add snow so this is going to execute firstly uh, this one and then it is going to execute position snow and so on so yeah i just wanted to show you but i am going to put it uh, to the place 
that I want to have it like uh, like uh, so. Okay, and uh, this uh, in it. Uh, there is a little little bit issue I can show you. Uh, not an issue, but uh, the thing that you need to like uh, be aware of is that, uh, for example, right now I have uh, that uh, I have the 200 snows, but I can cre uh, create a variable so I can go with uh, let num uh, snow like number of the snow and I'm going to put this uh, to be 100 like so and then I can use this variable uh, in my uh, add snow loop so uh, this is going to be right now 100 and I can easily change this uh, in here like so so right now this is going to be working we are going to have uh, 100 uh, snow uh, but the thing is that if I would uh, have this uh, variable i'm going to cut this and i'm going to put this uh, below my uh, calling of the init uh, right now this is not going to be working and the reason why this is not going to be working is that uh, we are going to declare our uh, empty array uh, we are going to have our uh, function but functions by themselves don't do anything we need to call them and then we are going to call the init function and from this line in it, we are not going to go to this line because in this line we are calling the function. So we will go in here and we will go to the add snow. And from here we are going to go to the function. So we are not going to have this defined <laughs> basically. Try to think about it, but yeah. So what I would like to do is I would like to put this in it uh, at the bottom like so. So all of the variables that I would uh, create, I going to be there but yeah i'm going to put this anyway to the top like so and we do not need to have this i can comment this out and i can put this uh to be 100 if you want you can have this uh but uh, but yeah okay fine uh now what I would like to do is uh, I would like to uh, position my snow a little bit, a little bit better because uh, right now we have this like so. So what I could do uh, right now, I will go back to my code, uh, my random y, I have this like math.random uh, times 800. Uh, before we will write the code, I just want to make sure that we are on the same page. So you do not need to do this, just watch. I will go to the view and I will go to the rulers and uh, I will get my rulers like so. And the Y position at the top is, uh, I can type in here zero. Uh, the, here is the zero and uh, here is uh, at the bottom uh, is going to be 800 uh, like so. So and uh, at the, if we are going to go down like this, uh, somewhere here is going to be like uh, 1,600. Uh, okay, I can write it like uh, like so. And uh, at the, in here uh, top, we are going to go to the negative number. So if I go somewhere in here, that is going to be like uh, minus 800. So uh, what I want to do uh, right now, I will go in here, uh, is uh, my random y. I am going to go math.random multiplied by 800. And I am going to put all of this uh, to, the, to the parentheses like so, because right now I would like to go minus uh, 800 like this. Okay, uh, uh, later on I will one more time visually try to show you, but right now we have moved all of the snow a uh, little bit uh, up like so. So uh, I will try to do this with uh, some kind of shape so you may, you can understand this. So I am going to get a rectangle tool and I'm going to get a red color and I am going to draw uh, something like this. So we are just generating the snow uh, from uh, Y0 to Y800 and then I am going to put it minus 800 so i'm going to put all of this uh to be to be like uh, like so okay fine and now what we are going to do is we are actually going to try to make this a uh, little bit uh, bigger uh but uh, but yeah so what i'm going to do right now is uh, uh, i am going to uh for now 
uh, get rid of this minus 800 and instead of 800 I am going to multiply this by 1600 so right now this is going to generate me the number between 0 and uh, 1600 so basically it is going to uh, generate me this uh, like uh, like so okay so we are going to have the snow like this and right now if I go with minus 800 I am going to put it like so and if I go with minus uh, 160 uh, we are going to put it like so so <laughs> yeah uh, I will show you if I uh, go right now uh, minus uh, 800 uh, we are going to have it like so but it is still going to be continue because uh, as I showed you uh, with the with the shapes and if I'm going to uh, go uh, minus uh, uh, 1600 like so it is going to put everything up but right now it's not going to be uh, 800 but it's going to be two times 800 uh, like uh, like so okay uh, now what we can do is we can create more snows I do not recommend you to create too much snow because I don't know how this can slow down the browser hopefully not this much but I can go with maybe like 200 maybe 250 uh, something like this and what I'm actually going to do is uh, I'm going to put this to be uh, 2400 and uh, minus uh, minus uh, uh, 1600 so yeah with these numbers uh, try to think about it but right now what I'm going to do is basically uh, put it uh, put it like uh, like so and the snow is going to be falling uh, like uh, this so I will go with control enter and uh, this is uh, this is what uh, we are going to have uh, now, uh, what we can do is, uh, uh, we have a few options, but uh, for now I am going to... Uh, I am going to delete this shape. If I need it, uh, I can uh, I can recreate it very very easily. And uh, what I'm going to do in the in the move snow function is that, uh, or actually I. I will go back and uh, I would like to have my shape uh, <laughs> because I want to uh, show you something. So we have our snow uh, right now like this and then the snow is going to fall like uh, so. And let me create this to be uh, 2400 as we have our snow. And when uh, the snow is going to be like this, so when the let me zoom out when the snow, uh, the first snow is going to hit uh, this uh, uh, 2400 like so uh, with the code. So when it's going to touch in here, we want to reposition it in here like so. And then it is going to fall and then we want to reposition it in here like so. We are going to have a little jump because, because of this. Uh, yeah, uh, it would be really, really difficult, at least for me right now, uh, to create this without this jump. So yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type if uh, snow array uh, i is going to be uh, bigger or equal to 2400, then uh, I am going to reposition my snow, so I'm just going to call uh, the position snow. So I'm going to call position snow like this, and uh, yeah, and uh, right now this is going to be falling, and when it is going to hit uh, that uh, place, it is going to uh, reposition, or maybe it's not going to reposition. Okay, let me let me see. I don't have uh, any errors, so. Uh, let me let me go to my code to see uh, what's uh, going on. So, if uh, okay, if uh, snow array i dot y <laughs> is going to be bigger or equal to, to uh, 2400 then I want to uh, position the snow so one more time it is going to be uh, like uh, like this and then it is going to uh, hopefully right now reposition like so so unfortunately uh, with uh, with this we are going to have uh, this uh, this uh, jump uh, what you could do of course if you have this uh, jump with the uh, 
less frequency you can put this uh, to be uh, higher numbers like uh, 4000 something minus something and then uh, the the shape uh, that we had in here I can draw it one more time is going to be like uh, bigger like so and then uh, you can uh, you can uh, change this uh, less often but uh, yeah in that case you need to generate more snow which can be like a problem with the uh, with the speed uh, but uh, but yeah and uh, now what I would like to do is uh, I would like to randomize the uh, the speed of the of the falling snow uh, so if the in the move snow uh, in the for loop but not inside the tick but in here I'm going to generate a uh, uh, random number and right now we have the speed set to 10 so I am going to gener generate a random number between 5 and 10 between 6 and 12 that depends so I will go let uh, random uh, speed is going to be equal to math dot uh, random and if I go for example multiplied by uh, 4 and I'm going to put all of this uh, to the to the parentheses like so and I'm going to type uh, plus uh, 6 this basically means that uh, we are going to generate random number between 0 and 4 and we are going to add 6 so this is always going to be at least 6 because we are adding 6 and we are, it is going to be maximum 10 because uh, the random number is going to be between 0 and 4 so if the random number is going to be 0 point uh, something this is going to be uh, 6 point something and if the random number is going to be 3.99999 this is going to to be 9.99999 okay uh, you can uh, create as uh, you can create this uh, in a different way we can go uh, plus four and uh, time uh, six so right now this would mean that the speed is going to be between uh, four and ten whatever or we can go with five and five but uh, yeah so and right now I'm going to put this random speed uh, instead of this uh, number 10 like so and right now uh, the snow is going to be falling uh, in, uh, in a different uh, uh, speed like uh, like so okay and uh, and yeah uh, but uh, let me let me put this uh, to be plus uh, six and uh, multiply by four and the last thing that we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, scale the snow so we would like to generate a random scale so I'm going to type uh, scale snow like uh, this uh, of course if you want you can uh, be part of the scaling in here uh, you can go to the library you can go to the snow and you can uh, scale this uh, in here if you want but right now I am going to generate a random scale so we are going to have a scale snow in the init function then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to type a function scale uh, snow and one more time we will have to go with the for loop so I will go for uh, let uh, i is going to be equal to zero uh, i is going to be smaller than uh, snow array dot uh, let me copy this all like so so I will copy this and I'm going to uh, paste this in here like so and uh, and yeah and the thing is that uh, with uh, I can uh, I can type, type in here uh, snow array uh, i uh, and we can go with the uh, scale uh, x and uh, scale x basically if I'm going to put 1 it is going to be the same as it is if I'm going to put 2 it is going to be the double size and if I put 0 0.5 it is going to be the half size so uh, for now I will just put this uh, to be number 2 and I will go with control enter and this is <laughs> this is what we are going to have uh, so we need to do the same thing uh, for the for the y but of course we do not want to have this uh, uh, big like uh, big like so because this is like uh, too big uh, I just wanted to show you and if I go with the uh, number one uh, this is going to be the like uh, the same as we had before uh, but uh, yeah so right now what I would like to do uh, and if I'm going to put this 0 0.5 this is going to be as I said uh, half of the size 
so yeah this is going to be right now uh, very very small uh, so what i would like to do is i would like to generate the random number uh, maybe between i don't know seven and ten like <laughs> okay and uh, how can we generate uh, between 0 0.7 and uh, one and uh, what I need to do is I need to generate the random number between like 7 and 10 or 6 and 10 and then divide it by 10 uh, by 10 to have 0 0.6, 0 0.7 and so on. So the same thing as uh, we have in here. Uh, and uh, I, I can actually, no, I'm going to type this. So I'm going to type uh, let uh, random uh, scale. Uh, like so is going to be equal to uh, math dot uh, random and let's say that we are going to multiply this uh, by four and we are going to uh, create the uh, put the parentheses and go with uh, plus uh, six so one more time this is going to be at least six, six and maximum ten uh, but right now this would be too big, so we need to uh, put this to the parentheses like uh, so, uh, the whole thing, and divide this by uh, 10. Hopefully this makes sense, if not try to think about it, but we are just uh, creating random number between 6 and 10 and divided it by 10, so it is going to be 0 0.6 up to up to 1. And right now I'm going to put the random scale to both of them, uh, to scale X and to scale Y. And right now uh, I do not want to generate the two random numbers <laughs> uh, for the X and Y because I want them to be the same, because uh, otherwise they are going to be distinct. But then I will go with Control Enter, and we are going to we are going to have a different uh, different size uh, of our uh, snow. So yeah, this is almost uh, almost everything. But there is one little thing that I would like to show you uh, because uh, that could be an uh, issue for uh, you uh, in some uh, in some cases. Uh, so. Uh, right now, uh, and of course, one thing is that I can always go to the snow, I can always make it bigger, so it is going to adjust this, I can always click on this and uh, change the color, I can uh, convert this to be uh, symbol, so F8 symbol, and I can right now go ahead and uh, change the opacity so it can be a little bit uh, transparent or whatever, uh, so, so yeah, and uh, the thing right now is that uh, we have nothing on our timeline, but if I am going to uh, create something on, on our timeline, so uh, for example, I am going to uh, get a rectangle tool and uh, I am going to uh, draw something like so, uh, uh, something like so, and I'm going to draw uh, something uh, like so, for example. And I am going to extend my timeline, so I am going to go maybe to frame uh, 50 like so, and I'm going to create new frame. So right now, imagine that you are going to generate the snow, but at the same time you are going to have some kind of animation or something on your timeline. What's going to happen is that if I go with Control Enter, I'm going to have my snow, and then my snow is going to, I'm going to have more snow, more snow, more snow, and this can like, uh, this can be really bad. Uh, because uh, it could uh, like uh, slow down your browser but what's going to happen is that we are going to call this code and we are going to uh, play the animation we are going to play the animation and after playing the the animation the code is going to run one more time and uh, and so on uh, so uh, what I what I need to do right now in, in this case is uh, I would have to create a new uh, new layer and I'm going to put a label in here so I'm going to uh, go with F6 and I'm going to call this label to be uh, skip uh, code for example or whatever and uh, on the code layer I will go in here and I will create a new keyframe F6 and I will go to the code F9 and I'm going to type that uh, 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 this dot uh, goto and uh, play and we are going to goto and play in the quotation uh, marks uh, skip uh, code like so okay and uh, right now what's going to happen is that uh, we are going to have our code 
Uh, we are going to generate the snow. We are going to play the timeline. But when we come to this uh, place, we are going to go this go to and play skip uh, code. So the next time it is going to not play from the first frame, but it is going to play from this. So it is not going to run to the code anymore. So it is not going to generate uh, more snow for us. So yeah, and uh, right now the snow is going to be only repositioning uh, uh, as we as we as we make this. Okay, uh, so yeah. Uh, this is it. This is uh, this is all. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to show you is uh, how you can uh, export this. Uh, so I'm going to go first of all. I'm going to save this. So Control S, and I will go to the place where I want to have this. So I will go to the to the place uh, generate snow, and I'm going to create new folder which is going to be uh, which is going to be animate like so. And I will go inside, and I'm going to save this. And uh, right now, if I go with Control Enter uh, to to see this in the browser, it is going to automatically uh, publish me in the place where I have this. So let me go to that place. It is automatically going to uh, publish me uh, in the animate folder uh, some JavaScript, some HTML and uh, Adobe uh, uh, HTML and JavaScript. Uh, so right now I can uh, double click to open this, and I'm going to have this like so. And uh, in the file, in the publish settings, uh, I have this right now as a uh, texture. Uh, if you have some issue, you can change this to the sprite sheet and so on. Uh, but yeah. Uh, this is it. This is all. Uh, if anyone have been here until this end, you can write me this in the comment. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, this is everything. I hope that you have learned something. And yeah, thank you very much and goodbye.